hello guys uh, welcome to python graded assessment week 10 so without wasting time let's start so this is the score which they have given okay using this score we are going to answer all questions so they have provided two classes one is student another is group okay in student class they have one declared one uh, global variable okay count equal zero and they have one init method it has name roll number and uh, subject marks as parameters and we are initializing those with self object okay self object i think you know that self object is nothing but uh, the object which we are passing okay and here you can see one interesting thing student.com they are incrementing that why student.com student is nothing but the class name here yeah, the class name so as a count is a global variable okay they are provided uh, it as student.count so whenever this constructor is called this count will be incremented and saved as a global variable one if you put self means whenever only a particular that object is called only this count will be incremented if any other object is called this count will increment only for that object okay and it starts from zero again only for a new object so as they have put uh, student uh, it will consider as a global variable and whenever this constructor is called it will increment so that's what so in our group class we have another uh, init method and inside init method we are initializing one empty list Okay, that is members name so after that we have two methods one is add to add uh, the student parameter to our this member list so another parameter uh, method we have that is print members uh, what we are doing we are looping looping uh, to this list okay this list and printing all the students name okay this students is nothing but uh, object and this name is nothing but the attribute okay i tell you this uh, i tell you later what it's so our question one uh, we used to uh, we used to uh, create an object named student of type student okay select uh, all the correct ways of doing this so what they are telling they are asking to create an object named student of type student okay this student you can see small x this student you can see yeah, capital s okay this student is uh, representing this class object okay sorry class this class is representing so they are asking us to create an object student for that student class that's what it mean so let's see student equal to student okay this is a constructor but what the thing is they have uh, doesn't post any parameters okay but actually our uh, init function has five parameters so what if you execute this uh, code if you execute this code it will arise an error that five arguments are missing so this is a wrong one okay because as we uh, given okay as we given five parameters here python would look for these five uh, parameters by creating an object so it will arise an error so here also we are passing only one parameter so this is also going to give error what error it give means remaining uh, four parameters are missing because one parameter we have given but remaining four parameters are missing it will arise that error here you can see we have all parameters name roll number and subject marks and uh, the class name is also correct and we are creating an object student okay so this is a correct one and this you can see this quite interesting it's okay we have all parameters okay we have all parameters okay but extra we have self okay we usually put self in inside classes and uh, inside class methods but we are putting self here okay what so 
it actually end up in error because this is considered uh, okay this is a correct statement okay what python will do uh, if if you going to exit uh, while calling that it will execute this okay in this self place uh, it will uh, put this uh, variable okay so we already have this variable so this self is nothing okay it will uh, arise an error that is uh, an uh, unknown pa parameter like that okay so this is a wrong one because python will automatically consider this as our self so this is unnecessarily so it should not come so this is our correct answer okay so next question 2 uh they have provided a score csv so next uh what they are telling output of this snippet code okay they are asking for the what is the output of this snippet code so let's refer the code student dot count equals zero okay this nothing but uh this this count okay because the class name is student and it's a uh, variable is count okay that's what they are calling so student class name dot count attribute equal to zero initializing to zero then they are reading okay or reading this csv file and uh, they are reading the first uh, line and ignoring the header okay as they reading this first line before itself it means they are ignoring the uh, header for further uh, process okay and they are initializing one empty list students okay then they are looping okay looping through each line of the csv file okay the this for loop do that only okay each line of the csv file then what they are doing they are separating with comma splitting with comma each line so when you split with comma uh, they are putting in each appropriate variables roll number name and marks okay they are putting and what they are doing here they are converting to int okay in the uh, because here it will be in string data type okay so they are converting it to a yeah, integer type because we need to uh, we may do some uh, arithmetic operations like addition subtraction we may do so for that they are converting here itself and this conversion is called uh, type casting okay that is the appropriate word okay for this conversion okay uh, then here you can see students dot okay students uh, they are appending something here okay this is something they are appending to our student list okay what is this something okay i tell you after what we are doing we are closing we are printing this count okay this count we are printing so they are asking what it will be at the end so i i tell you i tell you first what it is okay what it is because we are appending this to this uh, list what it is let's see so i have this is our student class and this is our uh, group class okay so what we are going to do okay we are going to create a object for our student class okay let student okay sd let be sd equal group or object okay as we doesn't have any uh, parameters in in it except self so that's why it's empty okay what we are going to do we are going to add we are going to call this method add okay add we are going to put the same here we have no put the same there so marks what we will give name we what we will give maybe something tony roll number 
let's give one in max under this example all will be hundred okay all max hundred hundred so we added everything but we need to know what it is it's nothing but the object of this student class okay you still confused let me explain one thing okay let, let me uh come on down both okay how we, uh, okay how you create an object for the student class how you create uh student one okay equal we will call this class name student so we will pass the parameters what parameter name role number max mark chemistry mark so let's take this as the parameters so we have passed the parameters to our uh, class student and this is our object okay so if you print yes d1 okay object what it will come think so this is what it printing Okay, this is what it printing. See, student uh, class, and it's the object of student class at this uh, memory location. Okay, that's what it printing. Okay, so let's consider we are directly printing this statement. We are not assigning to any variable or nothing. We are directly printing. We are changing the names. Okay, let it be without. So we are changing the variables and directly printing. So what it will do? See, we have two objects. So this st one is also an object. This statement is also an object. Okay. That don't confuse. This is an object, and we are assigning this object to this variable. Here SD1, so that's why this SD1 is uh, considered as the object. Okay, so if you put directly also, that is also our object. So, what we are doing here, okay, let's come here, let's delete all. What we are doing, we are creating a constructor that is an object of the group class and we are calling the add. Okay add matter in add matter you can see this members members is an empty list we are appending appending the student parameter to this list okay so what we are passing here we are passing the object of the student class that is like this nothing but this object okay this object okay this object contain everything the name role number subject everything this one object contain so we are passing this one object okay, to this method and here we are appending adding to this list okay so if you want to access means the object if you want if you want to access that object means what we can do sd dot we can put member okay members because we added yeah at first okay it will be at zero index if you print sorry print see we are getting another object so that's the reason because we are creating an object okay we are passing an object to this method and in this method we are appending that object to this list so whenever we need so what what is this ultimate use is we can append n number of object to this list okay so we can iterate and use all objects that's what it uh, very useful here you can see 
the best example here okay print members we are passing that list okay and this student is nothing but our object so in that object we are accessing our name attribute so we are uh, looping to each object and we are printing the each name that's what uh, it's very useful so let's come to our assignment so and uh, like i said this is nothing but the object of student okay object of this student class so we are appending that to this list okay so what it will do what will be the count value let's see here when i i already told you whenever we call this okay whenever we they call this constructor this count is going to be incremented so whatever the object the object may differ also doesn't matter as it's a global variable this constructor whenever called this count will be incremented so here we are calling calling the constructor how many times how many students we have so uh, this uh, constructor will be executed how many lines we have in this psv okay so as from two we have one two three four five five uh, rows we have so the answer for this will be five okay because you can see whenever we call this constructor uh, this count will be incremented so that's why as we calling for five times it will be incremented for five so the answer is five 